Mid-season update trailer for Apex Legends Season 18 has been released today, showing us what to expect alongside patch notes, so in this video I'll be going over it briefly and giving my thoughts on it. So straight off the rip, as we saw in the trailer, Fuse just got his heirloom, which is a guitar, which is about time really, it's looking pretty cool as well and suits him down to the ground. I can't wait to see him cracking heads open with this thing. In this update we'll be seeing an introduction to World's Edge After Dark, which looks super cool and by the looks of it, it's the old World's Edge, but we'll have to wait and see when we play it. As I know, many of you, including myself, miss the old World's Edge layout. The new LTM mode which is being added is called Living Shell Trios, which I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work, but it's good to see a new LTM coming as the community is always asking for new modes. As always we are getting new cosmetics, which is standard enough with the Harbinger collection event. I never usually buy anything myself unless it's a really nice item. And lastly as seen or heard in the trailer, or maybe if you listen carefully enough you can hear it behind me talking, is the new reward track. The music in Apex is always good and I like changing up my menu music from time to time. Okay then, so moving on to the patch notes now. New limited time, living shell trios. So here it looks to be more of an in-depth description. A new ordinance is upon us, the rev shell. For a limited time, take out enemies with a target seeking grenade that looks almost as scary as the damage it does. Grab a shell, toss it in the air and it will take care of the rest. Looking for valid targets before dealing significant damage, but be aware your opponents can take aim and shoot it down to cause an early detonation. Living Shell Trios is available for the full length of Harbinger's collection event, September 19th to October 3rd, 2023. So that's not going to be a Halloween event because um, that's kind of like Halloween. Eh? What do you guys think about that? It looks like a cool mode nonetheless. Um, but anyway, moving on. Map, Wild's Edge, After Dark. Um, there's a little look at the map. It does look nice. It, it, like, it looks cool with a bit of like darkness on it. Shrouded in darkness, Wild's Edge becomes a bewitched battleground featuring updates to one's familiar POIs. So maybe, like I said, it's like the old Wild's Edge map, but we'll have to wait and see what they do bring back. Enter the pain yard at your own risk to fight around a train going nowhere, or keep warm by the tree in its flaming glory, but watch out for the lava. It's a Marvin's worst nightmare, and it may be yours too. Ooh, we're getting all Halloweenian here. <laughs> So moving on to the collection items, they're just the collection items, and here we have Fusey's heirloom, mate. So that's his little heirloom, he's tuning his guitar, It's a little animation for it, I suppose. What do you think of that? That's pretty cool looking, isn't it? That definitely suits him down to the ground. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. He's even got a little dog here, is that a kangaroo? <laughs> so that's the reward tracker we'll just skip past that if anyone's interested in the store like I said I don't really buy too much things from the Apex store unless it's like really cool I don't know nothing's really popping out to me I don't know about you guys what do you think but that's that and now look we've got the patch notes so let's go through this guys and see what is changing so starting off with balance updates uh, the weapon crafting rotation, the 3030 repeater enters the crafter. The RE45 hammer point rounds enters the crafter. Mozambique returns to the floor loot and so does the nemesis. Ew! That is definitely getting a nerf. Lowered auto player difficulty in orientation matches. Redistributed the packets of high tier armor within POIs. Example, the center of countdown on world's edge into the global loot pool. Oh no. Okay then. So moving on to the weapons. Nemesis burst AR. The damage reduced to 16 was 17. So there we are. That is the nerf. ADS recoil increased. So not, not too bad really. Legends. So Fuse, Knuckle Cluster, tactical deployment speed increased. So that must be Fuse's little buff from receiving his heirloom. Which is fair enough. Everyone has to receive a little buff when they get their heirloom. Makes people want to play them more. Moving on to Horizon, Gravity Lift. Weapon accuracy decreased while in lift. <gasps> is, this the, is this the nerf that everyone was waiting for for Horizon? Vertical lift speed reduced by 20%. Hover time at top of lift reduced to 0.5 seconds was 2 seconds. Wow, so that is quite a hefty nerf. We'll have to see how that plays. I'm not like on a, on a, 
Horizon main. So we'll just to see how that plays and what people say about that. Rampart, Amped Cover, uh, place time reduced to two seconds. It was three. Rampart now remains in placement mode after deploying a wall. Okay, then. Revenant Forge Shadows. Okay, I'm happy to see this because although it was very good, it was very broke. Uh, reduced time extension from Nux to five seconds was 10 seconds. Extra damage in the shred will bleed through to Revenant if it breaks. Shadow Pounds. Slightly increased pounce angle compensating compensation when looking at the ground. Okay. So, we already know about Wild's Edge After Dark added to LTM. For Ranked... Recent hot fix September 6th, guaranteed percent per kill elimination bonus has been raised across all skill levels and point disparity between teammates of vastly different skill has been reduced. Then it moves on to bug fixes and legends, but I think I've gone over the things that we all want to know about, unless you do want to know about the bug fixes and legends, um, but you can pause it if you want to look over this. I don't want to have this video like 10 minutes long. I just want to keep it nice and short and sweet for you guys. Uh, same with all of this. So feel free to pause it. And uh, that's it, guys. That's the patch notes. I feel we got a bit more than I was expecting from this mid-season update. Respawn kept a lot of this update under wraps and a lot of people weren't sure on what to expect. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Did you expect more or less and are you happy with this update? If you enjoyed the video guys, make sure to leave a like for the algorithm and subscribe for more.